The word mandala is used in uh, many different ways. Mandala can be uh, a cloth painting, a mandala can be a, a three-dimensional sculpture, a mandala can be made of sand, a mandala can represent um, um, uh, an arrangement of deities, a mandala can also represent uh, the world. It can represent the universe or it can represent um, our uh, small limited world. So it is really important to to distinguish uh, between all the different types of mandalas just to uh, um, reduce confusion. Now one thing that is quite common and uh, and very much involved with ritual is the mandala offering or the mandala offering plate. Now what this is, it's actually uh, made of metal, not always. Uh, you can have really three different types probably of, of mandala offering plates. You can have basically anything flat that you want that's simple, unadorned, a flat stone, uh, a clean, flat um, um, uh, plate similar to for eating off of, um, or just a round piece of, of metal. Anything that's generally round uh, and flat. Um, the second type is uh, more ornate, and it's metal, but it has um, it has sort of a round base on it, a little bit like a drum, but with one side open. Um, then you can have a very ornate um, mandala offering plates that are not flat because they're not meant to be used as much in a ritual, they're meant to be uh, placed on a shrine in a more permanent fashion, because the mandala offering plate is meant to represent the universe, or the not the whole universe, but the world in which we live in. And the world in which we live in is really much, uh, pretty much idealized as a, a, a large central mountain, four continents, some subcontinents, and uh, various uh, iconographic forms, which can be placed um, also within this, this structure. Uh, mandala offering plates and the ritual uh, for it comes from India, but the the um, general verses recited are are coming from uh, I think the longest uh, verse formula uh, was composed by Chogyal Pagpa, so this would have been back in the 13th century, and he just lists a bunch of uh, a group of objects that are auspicious that should be uh, mentioned when. Um, arranging this mandala offering plate. Now, now, who is this for? What is it for? Well, actually, it's it's meant as an offering for uh, a stylized, idealized offering of uh, the world system to the teacher um, prior and post uh, receiving of uh, of Buddhist teachings and scriptures. So. These mandalas, uh, when they're uh, being used by a, by, a, by a practitioner, then they're just the simple plate form uh, which is held in the hand and is flat. Um, mandalas which are placed on a shrine are of two types. One is, is the mandala plate itself, offering plate, and then concentric rings of metal um, uh, decreasing in size and filled with some kind of, it can be filled with rice or barley or even precious stones, polished precious stones, gold and silver. So these tiers which are, 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 are extending upwards uh, can be overflowing with grains or with precious objects. Usually at the top, there's placed either a Dharma wheel or um, a small square um, uh, a house representing the palace of Indra, the, the peak of this uh, world system which we live in. And this world system with a mountain and four continents that we live in, what is this based on? Well, this is really coming out of the Abhidharma Kosha, is where we find uh, detailed explanations of how we... we um, 
understand this uh, mountain, central mountain, and uh, four continents, and then rings of concentric mountains outside of that. And then the, the universe itself is uh, filled with um, hundreds of millions, limitless numbers of these world systems, um, where at times other Buddhas appear, uh, according to the different um, sutra literature. So now, the the mandala plate with the the concentric rings and uh, filled with barley or precious uh, items, that's meant to be placed on a shrine, and alongside that you could have the a more ornate type of uh, mandala offering plate where you have small representations of the central mountain, the four continents, the eight auspicious emblems, and all of this will then be be um, um, uh, will be it will be gold, um, and uh, it will be gilt, uh, gold. And th this really became popular with the Yunglo Emperor in China, so that's the very early 15th century. But we do find these very elaborate uh, forms of mandala offering plates, which are not meant to be used ritually, but meant to um, sit uh, nicely on a shrine. Just a quick introduction to uh, mandala offering plates. Um, don't forget, you can press the like button, you can also subscribe, you can also ask questions, and you can help support the work we do and join HAR on Patreon.